Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Could I Change? Today we're going to be talking about some women in Target who said that there was racism. Before we continue, if you like it, you like this video, you want to subscribe after you see it, cool. If you don't, that's also cool. We are working our way towards a soundboard down here. So you can see the donations right here. This is my cash app right here. If you want to help, we are trying to get a soundboard for the production set to help with the sound and to make it just a little bit more smooth. Thank you for you. Thank you guys. And I hope y'all, I was going to say, hope you have a great day, but the video is not over. So let's go ahead and get ready into this video. Okay. So these individuals right here, this woman right here says that the racist target employee called the police on us for dancing in target. So we danced anyway. And then it says right here, Target has a clear pro policy prohibiting this kind of behavior. It is not right to assume that the Target employee is racist because they are following stores, the store's policy. And I actually, it re actually read something different. This changes all the time. When you click into it, it says something different. Uh, it also said that they have a, a policy against seeking attention. But let's watch the video. If you just watched my previous video, we talked more about racism. We talked a lot about how people are so quick to say that word because they have a, 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 a policy at Target that says you can't do those kind of things to seek attention and hinder somebody else's ability to shop. This is a business after all. You see how they hate that they're being distracted and people are blocking their video? Don't you think there's other people who think you're in the way blocking them when they're trying to shop? But let's go back to the racism part. That's that's the part that bothers me more than just, you know, young kids being young kids. Dancing. And I'm hoping these young kids, because these are 30 year olds. And oh, oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should absolutely be ashamed of yourself. But let's talk about the end of, let's talk about the racism. If you just watched my previous video, we talked about a, a young man, two young men, Michael Jenkins, Eddie Parker. Maybe not young men. Uh, I think Eddie Parker's a little older. But we have two men here who had gone through something that was the most torturous thing I could think of or I've seen in a long time just because of the color of their skin. And this one, I normally don't spout racism, but this one it was obviously because of the color of their skin. You can go back and watch their video to see exactly what happened to them. But it's so quick. People really want people to be racist towards them. They don't understand. What, when you say the word racist, it's not just a, oh, you know, I, 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 it's not a, can you please not be here? When somebody is truly living in the racism, the racism they want to say that they're claiming, it's going to be bad. 
trust me, they would not be, they would not just call you the N word and then say get out. And that's not what these target employees did at all. But it wouldn't just be the N word, it'd be torturous act. They would be going out of their way to make sure you understand how low you truly are as a black person. Right? But racism today is just anything that goes against what you are. And it really, it racism only depends on the skin of your, uh, the color of your skin. Let's be honest. If you're a white person, obviously they say you can't even experience racism. If you get beat to the ground for the color of your skin, it won't matter. If they call you white boy, right? Oh, it, it's, it's a problem. But if I say the N word, and the only reason I'm not saying it on here is because obviously YouTube will flag the video. But I want to say this, but you know if I, if you ever watch my other live streams, though. But if somebody calls somebody a white boy or, you know, and some people are against me on this one. But if you call somebody a Karen, oh, we're cool. It's, it, it, even though those are the, the only reason you're getting called a white boy or a Karen is because of the color of your skin. Now, some people will call black people Karens. But at the same time, some white people will call, I mean, some uh, black people will call white people the N word. So, I'm just confused on what it is is and is not to be racist anymore. Why do you want it so bad? That's what the question needs to be asked. Ask yourself if you are somebody who race based or tries to look for racism in every situation. Why do you want it so badly? Why do you want somebody to be racist toward you? Does it make you feel better? Do you really feel like you're standing up for something? Do you? Do you really feel like you're standing up for something? Do you feel like you can do whatever you want in the second somebody goes against you? Do you feel like, oh, that's that's cl clearly racist. If I want to dance in Target, even though I happen to be black, and there's obviously white people in this video, but if I'm a black person, I want to dance in Target, and you tell me, no, it's because they're racist. They don't want you. So if y'all were a group of all white girls, it'd be cool. If y'all were a group of all white men, it'd be cool. If you were a group of any race that's not black, would it be cool? Oh, is it is it just white people that you saying white people can do whatever they want? Because I haven't seen that anywhere. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of sick of everybody pushing racism when I, when there's real racism out there, and I don't think America's a racist country, but do I think there's racist people in it? Of course, America's a a country that has a bunch of diversity. You're gonna find people who hate everything there's people who hate white there's people who hate black there's people who hate asian there are people who hate the lgbt there are people who hate transsexuals there's people who hate catholics there's people who hate christians there's people who hate muslims there's people who hate everybody in this country but do i think this place is inherently racist but if you want racism so bad you can go find, I promise you, you can go find a country that doesn't like black people and go experience it every day. Go there. Go to a country where they really hate black people, where you really got to understand what it feels like to be a black person. Because you hate America so bad. Right? We're so inherently racist. They're, uh, really, they're, they literally allowed you to dance. They may have been trying to stop you, but you were literally dancing freely right there. That does not sound like racism to me. They, all right. We could push this all day. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Was this racist? And if it was, tell me why. And also tell me, why do we want people to be racist so bad in this country? Life has gotten so easy that we want to be oppressed no matter what. Goodbye.